Drivel, claptrap, crap. It goes la 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 la. Vanilla ice, ice baby. Boom 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 boom. Dun 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 dun. No wait, that's Superman. Dun 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 dun. Hello there, hello there, hello there, YouTube. How the devil are we all? I am very well. Thank you for asking. And this is part two of uh, kissing and shitting the stars. K shitting misspelt, as usual, there, uh, by Walker. Well done. We finished off with Hulk Hogan. So this time out, we get to start off with Sean Hannity. Legendary shizzle. Right then. Sean Hannity. What can you say about this little weasel that hasn't been said before? Walk up, you do surprise me. I have to say. I mean, he is the stereotypical conservative Christian repressed dweeb. Good use of dweeb. I'll just say that I'd bet, but nah, that I'd bet dollars to donuts. Now that's a very a American phrase and b American spelling of donuts. Come on, America, you're better than that. Actually, no, you're not. What am I talking about? Dollars to donuts. His wife has not got gotten really laid since the last time she charged her battery-operated boyfriend. What? <laughs> that, that's a... Well, I, I mean, Sean Hannity is many things, but I never thought of him as... Like, I mean, he's probably not the most adventurous sexually, but... Fucking hell. His television show isn't much better. It's the same drivel, claptrap crap. <laughs> is, is this like performance poetry, then? Dr drivel, claptrap crap that most right-wing news pundits pour out. Sean just has a way of making all the, making all the more snot-nosed. I think making it all the more snot-nosed. And that is true, actually. Sean Hannity is a man, I think Charlie Brooker summed it up better. He looks like a, a child that's just learned to smell, uh, learned to love the smell of its own farts. Sean Hannity, there's just, Sean Hannity, comma, there's just something about him. Like, comma. He wants to believe what he says and maybe tries. This is so, so poorly constructed. Personally, comma, I think he knows he spews bullshit and is fully aware of his own hypocrisy. I mean, you cannot have the ba that bad of a memory to, re to remember that in 2004 you were going on about how Homeland Security was the greatest goddamn thing for the country. I mean, this is hackneyed writing of the worst kind. And a couple of years later, comma, when, when Obama was in the White House, comma, you have a great change of heart. Suddenly, comma, the NSA is the most evil goddamn thing since zombie Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> zombie Hitler. Granted, comma, a lot of the right wing and left wing not asses, not asses, not asses. Is that an, a common American thing? Nut asses on television act like ten year old kids, and that's the end of the paragraph. Some I don't know why, but anyway, he continues. I don't know why, but he does. All right, so that's a continue. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's difficult to know with War Corps. It's like it's like staccato writing. You never know when the next note's coming. He literally does. The adult equivalent of covering his hands over his ears and goes la 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 la. But I just would like to have, I would just like to not have America, the laughing stock of the world. Walk ups, your fucking YouTube channel makes that impossible. Seriously, dude. I mean, you had to apologize to the state of Hawaii, you fucking mental. Anyway, he then moves on. Oh, his next one, Baby Prince George. What the fuck has the baby done? Baby Prince George. I know at the moment you can't speak. Hell, comma. By the time this book is out for everyone to enjoy, you may or may not be able to say the words mommy and daddy. I know none of this is your fault, and it's just a simple fuck up of which woman crapped you out. Again, walk ups, we're going to have to sit down and have a biology discussion here because you're thinking about the wrong exit there. Do you see what I mean? The, the, the wrong, you know, the milk, milk, lemonade round the corner fudges made? We're going to have to take you through that a bit more precisely with some scientific terms and things. That being said, I don't like you. Go away already. <laughs> oh, 
So it's not, none of it's your fault, but I don't like you. <laughs> what, what has the fucking baby done? Literally, what could a baby possibly have done to offend you? <laughs> oh, fucking hell, you are. I mean, you are a dickhead, <laughs> cops. <laughs> fucking hell. Comma. You'll still have a whole nation of fucking kidney pie eating morons fawning over your every fucking step through life. Now, for a start, don't ever go to the kidney pie. Especially the steak and the steak and kidney pie is a staple of British life. There would be fucking famine without them. Um, so there's no need for that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I agree with the rest of it because that is the the people who fawn over the royals are fucking morons. I'm sorry, they just are. Just remember, George. Comma. My country was founded on kicking your country's ass. Nah, I'm going to say that's a temporary thing. We're coming back for you. I'm just getting my red coat uh, thoroughly laundered, um, pressed, ironed, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be back soon enough. So, comma. Unless baby George splits the atom before he's toilet trained, I don't think two fucking... I don't give two fucking shits about baby Prince George. That's fair enough, but you 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 say you don't give it a shit, but you you have written a chapter about him in a book. So I mean, I say written. I presume you just filled your arsehole with ink and shat it out onto the page. But whatever. Vanilla ice, ice baby. Boom, 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 boom. Vanilla ice. Please, vanilla ice or V ice or whatever the fuck you're calling yourself now. Well, oh, that's that's harsh. It's. It's time, that should be a comma on, uh, sorry, an apostrophe on uh, the TS. It's time on your 15 minutes. That has long since passed, comma, go the fuck away. Stop doing commercials. I, I would say comma rather than full stop or, or period there. Stop trying to keep yourself relevant, just go, comma, just go away. You didn't have a great music career, comma, nor were you a talented rapper. I gotta say, I'm with you on this walk course. It's horrifically poorly written, but it's it's correct so far. As annoying as it is to still see you, comma, vanilla, to see you, comma, vanilla ice, I kind of enjoy it. I like it because you are finally acting like the joke I always knew you fucking were. <sighs> a damning, scathing report there from walk course. Tim Tebow, who is a fucking prick, who looks like he's actually going to be good at baseball, which is annoying. Anyway. Tim Tebow, give it up, you fucking loser. <laughs> you know you know it's going to be a good one when he starts off with that. <sighs> Stephanie Meyer, who I believe wrote the uh, glittery vampire novels or something, I don't know. One of the favourite... Stephanie Meyer, one of the favourite things that I have in life, comma, is I love to see the mighty fall. You are a sad fuck, walk off. you really are. Then the final Twilight movie came and went... Comma, with it, the last flickering light of a one-trick author. I remember he, she's a better... That's to be fair, right? She's clearly a far more successful author than you, War Corps. So, I mean, again, I mean, to be fair to her, at least she did have one trick. Unlike some people who, <clears throat> you know, self-publish on Amazon shit books that, you know, other sad fuckers on the internet will read aloud to people for their amusement. So, I mean... Yeah, he continues again for no fucking reason. He still continues. I remember hearing Stephanie Meyer on an interview at a premier state. This was the downside of writing at, at so at a premiere. So you need a fucking e at the end of premiere, you twat. Right, interview at a premiere state, and I think that should be comma. This was the downside of writing, but at least you use quotation marks. Walk ups. Well done. Well fucking done. Jesus. And I'm thinking, really? This is the fucking downside of writing? Again, put that in italics, I would imagine. Uh, a premiere, again, put E on premiere to put premiere, you twat. A premiere of a movie based on your fucking book. Then she went on to blame the premieres, again, put a fucking second E, or a third E, technically, in it, for why... Hang on. <laughs> she then went on to blame the premieres for why she isn't writing. This is what's keeping you from fucking writing, comma, you idiot. Which is brilliant because you fucked up while trying to say someone else was an idiot. Genius. I mean, how long do pre do movie premieres? You spelt it right this time, so you know how to spell premieres. 
So why have you fucked it up the first two times and then got it right? You dickhead. I mean, how long do movie premieres last? Comma. Three, maybe four hours? Question mark. So, comma, let's say from seven to one, she'd be at the premiere. You get, f f in the previous sentence, no, two sentences ago, you spelled premiere right, but then you fuck it up and put premiere. Oh, God. That means you would have six hours out of the 24 in which you couldn't write. What the fuck are you doing for the other 18, Stephanie? Oh, God. What the fuck are you doing for the other 18? Comma, Stephanie, question mark. That's ridiculous. Also, walk-ups. Writing isn't as simple as just having time, is it? Like, writing... I know for you, it's literally just having ten minutes, scribbling some shit, not even re re rewriting it or rereading it, fucking trying to pick out the huge number of mistakes and then fucking it up on... onto, um... Uh, putting it up onto uh, Amazon. But for actual proper writers, they need to have, like, a comfortable situation in which to write. Now, for some, that means they can do it whilst they travel. But presumably, in Stephanie Meyer's case, she needs to be in like her space, which is often for writers, their home, like their study, that's where they write. So when you're travelling around doing premieres, that's not necessarily going to be comfortable for her. So that's probably what she means by uh, it, the premieres are stopping her from writing. I assume. Since then, comma, haven't had any movie premieres. You spelt it right this time. Again, just interchangeable premiere and premieres, aren't they? Did you really think that your sparkly vampire novels were going to be relevant down through the ages? That should be a question mark at the end of that walk-up, because you're asking a fucking question. Your novels were forgotten the second the girls that read them had something other than lip gloss to worry about. When the tale of the two sparkly dicks fighting over the love of mega cunt... <laughs> For fuck's sake... When they finally grew up and and realised, again, you changed tenses there, so when you finally grew up and realised, this is not the case, they quit reading that type of, of ship. I think you mean shit. Genius. Your work just wasn't generational. Sorry. Comma, sorry. I don't know. Maybe the... I don't know. Yeah, you don't fucking know. I don't know. Comma. Maybe the feminist will still read it because Lord knows that there, wrong, wrong there, by the way, that should be T-A-G-I-R, the only group of girls that never grew the fuck up and still think they're the centre of the fucking world. War Corpse, you are the ultimate man-child. You are the ultimate fucking never-developed man-child gorilla jabber creature, right? So you are in no position to say that other people have not grown up. You fucking, you utter dirt box. So, comma, I really don't think that the words I write here will matter to Shitster. Yeah, because you'll never read it, you twat, because only an idiot like me would ever read it. Anyway, I'm done for this fucking bit. Next up, we've got Brooke Hogan. That'll be fucking fun, won't it? God damn it. Walkers, why do you do this to me, boy? Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. I certainly didn't. Anyway, thank you all for listening and watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notifications button. Pip, pip. Well fucking done.